Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas from Pre Corporation, and we're pleased to have you back for part two of locator troubleshooting. And in part one, we talked a little bit about locator attachments, and one of the problems was often trying to figure out the correct tissue cuff height for locators. And we kind of teased at a unique tool that is really going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassles in selecting the appropriate abutment for each of your patients. Today, we'll talk a little bit about that unique tool. But first, we received some great feedback from our first Tech Talk. Now, Dr. Paul McGraw brought up a fantastic point about having abutments that are too tall. We can talk about the cause of this. Often, it's measuring for the tissue cuff height when the implants are just placed, the tissue's inflamed, and we measure a cuff height this high. Now, when we wait till the tissue's healed, we get a much lower and appropriate cuff height for that patient. However, when the patient presents and they have a tall cuff height abutment, often what they're presenting about is because they have problems with the prosthesis rocking. That tall abutment becomes a fulcrum for the rotation of the prosthesis as we go from anterior abutment supported to posterior tissue supported. So it's important to get the correct cuff height for the patient and we can reline the case, we can do everything possible to solve the problem for this patient but simply, we need to measure the appropriate cuff height and provide a lower cuff height above it, whether it be a locator, a ball, or an O-ring. Thank you for your submission, Dr. McGraw. We received a phone call here today at Pre-Corporation from a clinician who was placing a locator overdenture. There was no retention on the new case. The clinician had checked for high spots, had verified that the attachments were in alignment, so what we asked the clinician to do next was to take an impression coping and seat it on each of the abutments in the arch. We found that on this three implant overdenture, one of the abutments was very high and the impression coping sat no problem. The midline attachment, again, no problem. But the third abutment was almost subgingival and every time the attachment tried to seat on the abutment, it would make contact with the gingiva and sponge back up. Correct cuff heights are definitely a challenge when placing a locator overdenture case. And we have a couple solutions to help you avoid cases where you have an abutment too low or even an abutment way too high. This is the new pre cuff height and angulation tool, and it's very simple to work with. With the pre cuff height and angulation tool, you place it directly on top of the implant platform. And again, when we're measuring external hex implants, we want to place it onto the platform, not on top of the hex. If you place your measuring tool on top of the hex, your cuff height is going to be too low. If we're measuring an internal connection, for example, one of the, uh, the internal hexes, if we drop our measuring tool down inside that hex, a common hex height is 1.5 millimeters, we're going to have an abutment that's 1.5 millimeters too tall which can lead to a case like this. So we want to place our cuff measuring tool directly on the platform, rotate it to find the highest point of the gingiva. We don't want to measure to the lowest, we don't want to measure to the average, we want to measure to the highest point of the gingiva because that's where the attachment needs to have clearance. We need to make sure the abutment is above the gingiva and can fully seat without making contact. The other nice thing about the pre cuff height and angulation tool is that I can measure divergence between my implants. I can simply take a look at where my abutments are. I can rotate, rotate the protractor arm to the same plane as those other abutments. And I can see if I need to use a locator standard male, 10 degrees, or a locator extended range male that could be up to 20 degrees. We can take that a step further if we're working with a multi-unit abutment. We know if we need a 17 degree or a 30 degree, we know the cuff height. This little all-in-one tool is going to save implant professionals a ton of time. We're excited and we're proud to have that here at Preet Corporation. Thank you for joining us for Tech Talks by Preet. Interested in learning more about the product you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com. Have a topic you'd like us to cover? Email us at techtalks@preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at pre.com.